although they might be aggregated to other websites, the official UN Secretariat job openings are published on the Careers Portal, and you can search for jobs using the Careers Portal or Inspira. Other web searches might land on the same jobs you will find here, but be careful to the quality of the job openings details on non-UN websites. If you are interested, then there is a link you will be redirected to Inspira anyway, but to avoid being impressed by an overdue job advert found somewhere else, I would advise to bookmark and use Inspira directly. It's up to you of course, and remember in Inspira you need to be logged to have a personal profile in order to be able to make job searches. But I guess you are not doing this just for fun, so you'll finally make a profile and apply. Both are equally good, careers and Inspira platforms, and use the same database, but your options are different as Inspira user compared to a simple careers platform visitor. In Inspira you can track your applications, you can track your roster memberships, and I think that we should have a lesson on roster memberships. You can search jobs by criteria, not only by category. Very useful. You can save your search criteria as a job alert and have results sent to you periodically in an email. You can complete the application in advance in draft mode for potential future applications. You can select and modify previous applications if they are not sent and under review. And finally, you can create an application when applying to a job opening using the apply now button. And again, don't forget, read carefully the applications. It's one important step some of us tend to take too easy. All the information there you are going to use when completing your application. You will avoid in this way applying for posts for which you are not really qualified. It sounds obvious, but there are situations when the job title sounds good and we think we might fit and it's not really the situation. It has to be an exact fit. We have to match selection criteria to pass screening and respect the eligibility rules. And this is not always simple if we don't read carefully the job opening. So ask yourself honestly if you have the competencies, the skills and experience required for the specific job. It's not about what we like, it's about presenting a strong profile to recruiters. Minimal but minimal training should help you just adapt to a specific job having already the competencies, the skills and the required experience. There is an acceptor knowledge gap of course but this should be minimal and in every case know that your competitors might fill that gap better than you. So search, read carefully for the job opening, adapt your profile and then apply. As a rule of thumb here, if you spend less than 5 minutes reading the job opening, you might need to slow down and mark your congruency points, why this job is for you and your gaps. Based on this you decide if you can adapt your profile or this job is not for you. In this section we are discussing in detail job searches and it's not that complicated. We all use browsers and internet search functions, but there are many ways of doing this and you should know them all to be more efficient. You can directly search using the job openings link on the careers portal, it's simple but limited by standard categories, yet some of us look for simple ways. You can directly search using the jobs section on the careers portal, again simple yet not enough. You can log in to Inspira and perform a basic search, most of us will do this after having the profile. You can refine your searches using the advanced search option, which will greatly help you navigate through the tens and hundreds of basic search results, and lastly you can make a job search routine running the saved searches and using the job alert tabs. Both all these options we are going to discuss in the next lectures.